Good evening, friends. Cookie here, Hummingbird Heights Farm, and it's evening. I just got a new tripod my son gave me, uh, so it's my tripod selfie stick. So hopefully I can walk around a little easier and get a better quality picture for you instead of being so close. So let's see. All right, just getting into the garden. I've got a few plants that are coming along. I've got my spaghetti squash. It is huge. Look at the size of this. That is a big boy. I probably could make that for dinner one night. Get my homemade spaghetti sauce that I made last fall from my, all my tomato bounty. Got another one right here. Got one right here. So I've got all of those going. Cucumbers trying to come on here. The trellising is really nice. I don't see any cucumbers on them yet. I had one that just popped out in my garden. And it's trying to trellis, so I'm trying to keep him up. So this is what I have today. I've got four heads of garlic that I got out. Several tomatoes and peppers. That's a daily picking. The peppers and tomatoes just keep coming along. Got cucumbers here. Here are two of my bad boys. These are like English cucumbers, the burpless. So I've got two of them right there. Can see them. Oops. And I got a little baby one right here. He's right there. Alright. Beans in my trellises. I gotta show you one more thing. I've got. This I saw this morning. Let me see. Look at nice little watermelon. He's almost as big as my hand and he's getting stripes. He was just light green. And I've got some little baby clusters of tomatoes here. It also has some clusters here. This was my volunteer tomato plant. I did not plant this. The Jubilee Watermelon is what I've got. So that is going to be a big boy. Hopefully there's enough room. It's amazing to me that the leaves are not that big. It's I've got it traveling, trellising over here. No trellising, just traveling. And I've got cucumbers setting on here. I saw them. Oh, they're little teeny ones. Can see these. They're just little babies. So all of these cucumbers are coming along. The beans are climbing. My squash, the patty pan squash. There's one right there. And there's another volunteer tomato. I believe these are all cherry tomatoes popping up. So far, that's what it looks like. Another patty pan here. But over here is another squash. I believe that is a cassava melon. Bees are liking all this. So I've got all of this trellising up. 
getting ready to trellis. And over here, my melons are coming along. This is Sugar Pie Pumpkin. It's doing well. This is a Moon and Stars. I could not read this the other day. I fig finally figured it out. This one is a banana melon. It's still a very little, just a very little guy. So this is the one I couldn't read the label. And if you can see, oh, I can finally see it. I would know this. There are moon and stars on the leaves. I tried getting these to grow last year, and I tried it this year. Last year, all I did was get a little, a little bit of the, the leaves, but I never got any melons. So the moon and stars are on the leaves, and when the watermelon comes out, it has little moons and stars on the surface of the watermelon too. And here's one more. So I have three of those planted. This here is another sugar pie pumpkin and another banana melon over there. This one back here. Just look at this one. It was um, this is squash. I think it's San Marzano. Something Marzano. But it's a squash. It's a yellow squash, and it's going to be like a regular eating squash. I just didn't plant any of the normal green ones. I don't like the normal stuff. I mean, I do, but I like the unusual. My jicama is coming up. So here's jicama, and here's one of them right here. Here's some more right here, the little sprouts. These are my beans since I covered them. I just laid some netting over the top and they popped up because the birds were coming and pecking the leaves before they could even develop. Once they get big enough, they'll be fine. I'll take it off. This is my golden honeydew. And look at all the, these were my green honeydew. Big patch of them. So those are doing well. And then again, this is another golden honeydew. And this is another watermelon. Let's see. Oh, another sugar baby. I like the little baby ones. So I did plant a few. And butternut squash. I'll be looking for that for the fall. And this over here is my... These finally sprouted. This is sugar beets. They'll be the white where you would make sugar. Let's see if I can get him out of here. Oh, my, my basil is going, but look at this crazy squash leaf. Just one squash plant in here, and it has it's filled a third of this bed. And there's my there's my red cabbage over there. Be patient. I'm trying out the new tripod. That means I'm going to change the angle. Tighten it. Thank you, Eric and Julie, for my wonderful gift. This is such a treat, but I'm learning to operate, so you guys get to come along. I'm coming in with my clippers, and I'm going to take out my head of cabbage. It's just too hot for them. They're just not moving along any further. And I just think it's a shame to not get them. Oh, my goodness. They... This is a big... Okay. All right. All right. Let me get down here. So this is my head of cabbage. Now it's not huge, but it did say on there that they're not going to get as big as a regular cabbage head. So all of this, all these outer leaves will be great compost. If I had my turkeys here, they would probably have a nice treat. They'd get some nice stuff to come. But this is going to go in to the house. And this will be, this is my first red cabbage. Very exciting. It's evening. I have my sunflowers are just bursting. 
bursting forth. It's got to be eight, nine feet tall now. It's towering over the whole garden. My, to my tomatoes are ripening. These are more garlic. They kind of have a fan shape to them. So the, the other ones just died off. So these are getting there. As they die off, then I'll be pulling them up. So this is my little lineup. My tomato barrels. And my pepper plants. I am getting flowers, setting new flowers on some of these. So even though it's hot, usually the flowers do not set when they get around 90 degrees. They like to be about 80 degrees or less. However, the peppers love the heat and they are blooming. They are happy. This is my silver fir, which had quite a few um, tomatoes on them. And I'll be adding shade cloth to make sure that everything get, is able to get somewhere. But look at this. this. The Swiss chard is just to die for. It loves the heat. And this is full of Swiss chard and the marigolds have taken over but why not they're shading the base with that that was a pretty good test for for one evening we will take you out with a final look at my humming my butterfly And my sunflower, my hummingbird in the sunflower, ready for evening. With all my berry plants. So much bounty ready to come for the heat. Now's the time for the heat loving plants. All right. With that, I just want to say good evening, and God bless you, and we'll see you with the next video. Thanks for hanging out.